Right, hello everybody, it is Ordinal Wolf, and today we are back in Direwolf 20 pack. So, um, today I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've done off camera, and then we're also going to do some stuff in terms of storage. Okay, so let's quickly go over some of the stuff that I've done. So, as you can see, I have made up this bridge hold up. Sorry. Can't stand me some rain. So, I've made up uh, the bridge that I said ages ago, within the first couple of episodes that I make, so I made this little one out of both diorite and then block craftery, um, was it framed walls and stairs, um, to get those, uh, so if you look up, well, actually look up at block, um, it's really easy, um, so you get framed blocks, which is like legit four sticks and you get two of them, so you just make a whole load of sticks and you just use the framed blocks to make stairs and, uh, framed walls, you know, same recipes as normal, just that you use frame blocks instead. And then you can also apply like any block to them. So I just applied a uh, polished diorite and uh, yeah, there we go. We've got an okay kind of looking bridge. Um, so that's the f one thing that I did. Uh, second thing, I uh, just got us some animals and basically penned them up. Um, and I used the same golden lasso that we used to uh, make the uh, angel ring. So, uh, and then I just put that on there, and then, um, we also got some horse armor for Mr. Horsey over here, so, um, I left it up to you guys in the comments to choose his name, I got two recommendations, and I just picked the one that I liked the most, so we're gonna call him Gerald. Say hi to Gerald, everyone. There's one more thing I have got to show. So, if we go downstairs, last time I said that I would, uh, clean up downstairs so as you can see I have cleaned up downstairs unless I've already done this I can't tell but if I haven't already downstairs is kind of like being redone um, I've added these factory blocks and skystone blocks and uh, all the good stuff polished diorite and uh, just uh, made everything kind of look a little bit nicer so um, I got individual rooms that'll be like for thermal expansion machines um, haven't done that side yet, but we'll do eventually. Um, over here, I'll just put the resonator and the extra utility stuff, but this will be like a random room, I guess, for now. But we'll turn it else into something else eventually. And in this room in particular, as you can see, there's the crafting station from here. I wish to turn this into kind of like the storage hub, because what I'm going to do is I want to have... Uh, kind of computer terminals around so I can access some storage but I thought today what we'll do is we'll get some storage drawers so storage drawers is a mod that allows you to kind of make drawers that store items so if we look up uh, at storage we can get these storage drawers so you can make a basic drawer and uh, that's just oak planks and a chest and you get that and it holds 32 stacks per drawer and then you can use uh, storage upgrades to uh, progressively upgrade them. We can also make these keys so uh, locks and unlocks them and uh, conceals the labels and whatnot, showing high quantities. So, um, yeah, we'll definitely do some of that. Um, so, starting off, I guess we probably need to get some woods. So as you can see, you've got a whole lot of acacia wood, so I'll just. Uh, I'll probably just be using acacia wood, so what we need to do is probably make a whole buttload of chests. Right guys, and we're back, so as you can see I have made some basic drawers, so that's basically what the drawer looks like, and what you can do is you can stick items in there, and then you can pull them out, so one left click takes one item out, shift left click takes the entire stack out, so yeah, pretty cool, so I've made 24 of those, but uh, one more thing that we're actually going to make is actually, well, no, we need that there. So if we keep it on there, we can, eventually I want to make compacting drawers because that's great for ingots and stuff and it has multi compartments, but as you can see it's a bit more expensive, it costs two pistons per drawer, plus some bog standard stone and an iron ingot, so it's pretty expensive, um, but what we want is a drawer controller, so we need one of our drawers, uh, five stone, and two redstone comparators to make two comparators um, we also have some stone on me uh, we need a diamond that's what we need we've got plenty of diamonds for that we've got 46 um, there we go draw a controller 
So what the drawer controller allows me to do is basically, um, I'll, I'll show you. Let's let's go place these down. So we'll go into our little, uh, here we go, storage. So I'll probably remove that torch for now and put that there. I want to put the drawer controller right in the center. And then what we'll do, actually no wait, we'll put it at the bottom. And then I can have stuff go around it. But basically what we want to do is we want to place uh, drawers um, around it. And all attaching drawers well, like, that are all linked um, are accessible by said controller. Um, we ha There's a creepy sound. Piss off. Um, but basically any um, drawers that are linked like via a connection via like a block. So any of all of these are connected to that one drawer controller. Um, we'll also add one more row. Um, I'll add it on this side uh, for now. We're definitely going to want some more drawers. That'd probably be a good idea. All right, and we're back. So as you can see, I've made up a whole load of storage drawers. So we've got loads of them now. So fingers crossed this should be enough. But uh, basically, I'll show you guys what the storage drawer controller actually does. So for now, I'll just get like 10. And uh, what I'll do, this is just like to show you what happens. So say if I put those torches in there. And say if I have said item in my inventory, so as you can see I've got 27 in my inventory and then there's also 10 in that drawer. If I hold the right click button, it'll place them in there. So it automatically um, puts items straight in there. It's also something that you can use to say when we're gonna, we're gonna make some um, refined store, bleh. We're gonna make some refined storage computers and basically what it can allow us to do if we hook it up to this drawer controller using um, external this external storage bus we can access any of the items from the computer using this drawer controller which is very cool so we'll take our torches back out and um, what we're going to do is we're going to start moving some of these items so uh, i think what we should do first is uh maybe put the valuables I think the valuables will go on like the left hand side so for now probably want to take a combination of like all the blocks um, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll do stuff like uh, coal um, and then we'll do redstone um, then we'll do some lapis uh, then we'll do some glowstone then we'll do some quartz um, we don't have any diamond blocks or anything just yet, but I'll leave some space there for both uh, emerald and diamond. Uh, but we'll move on to uh, kind of like metals. So iron, uh, we'll also do... I'm trying to keep it so it's like mod ID defied, I guess, to make it kind of simple. So, and then we'll go uh, copper, tin, um, silver, and lead. Copper, tin, silver, and lead. And then basically, as you can see, those are all in their inventory, which is very nice. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll come right back and I might just try and fill up some more of these drawers. Right, guys, and we're back. So as you can see, I've actually turned all of them into compacting drawers. And I've also added a couple more of the items. So basically, to show you, this basically shows you what you can do with compacting drawers. So as I said, you can either stick the block or the actual item in there and then it can you can either take the actual block out or you can take the diamond itself out depending on where you click same with the diamond nuggets this is different for each individual item but as you can see it'll just list um, the different uh, forms that it can come in so yeah pretty damn cool um, so yeah, we can use those and those still work in conjunction with the drawer controller. Also to a few couple of these drawers, um, like the copper here and the tin here, I've added these auto conversion um, what's it? upgrades. It's basically because if you look up uh, copper, there's a couple of different uh, different types of copper ingot. Uh, where is Where are they? And then I believe there's one from Industrial Craft, but for some reason it's not showing up here. Very interesting. But I know there's one from Industrial Craft 2 as well. As you can see, there's like all that random stuff, but interesting. So I only list one in JEI, but there's, there's sometimes you get two and it's just a pain in the ass. So yeah, basically what I did is I just added auto convert um, and basically 
that'll convert all the ingots to um, your bog standard uh, what's it items so what we can do is uh, <coughs> we can actually take a lot more of these uh, items so I'm I'm not gonna stick the ores in there I don't see any point in doing so but I definitely will stick, you know like certain um, particular items in there that I think are worth of value um, as much as it doesn't seem worth putting like a nether star in there uh, we will because uh, I think later on in the series what I want to do is I want to create like an auto with a farm I think that would be pretty cool um, so we'll get that done and dusted and uh, yeah I think everyone at the end of the day will be happy with that so what I reckon we should do next is get started on uh, we're obviously not going to make anything fully uh, functional um, today but um, we probably want to try and make a start on um, the computer so to speak so actually we probably need those are drawers we'll stick those in there uh, we probably want some wood um, we gonna need we'll, we'll need actually all the materials are downstairs now isn't that wonderful uh, three basic things to start off with so one thing that we're gonna the first thing that we're gonna probably want to make is um, a controller um, and that's quartz enriched iron um, a machine casing, some silicon, and an advanced processor. So we're going to need to get all of this stuff. Um, we need some processor bindings, which is uh, just slime balls and string. And then we're also going to need um, diamonds, redstone, silicon. Uh, silicon is just, remember, the smelted quartz. Um, so we can actually do that now so we'll get some more of our quartz and uh, we shall just go to our induction smelter and uh, turn that off uh, where did I put the silicon uh, there we go uh, we probably want to lock these drawers as well at some point because that means that say if there's only as you can see 23 in there if you take all of that out it still locks it so that only silicon can be in that drawer so that's definitely something that we'll want to do. We're going to want to make some quartz and rich iron. So that's uh, iron along with some nether quartz. So we'll get another stack of that. And then we'll get a stack of a, a couple of stacks of iron and goods. Why not? Um, let's do that. We'll make some quartz and rich iron. We can also stick that in there afterwards. But since we're going to need it for now, we shall keep it in our inventory. Um, machine casing is just a piece of stone surrounded by um, our quartz enriched iron so we'll do that quickly uh, bam there we go machine casing um, after that we need three silicon we've already got some silicon on us we're gonna need um, some processor bindings so we need some slime balls um, as well as some string damn it uh, strings upstairs come over here string where are you? Where are you at? In here? There we go. String. Let's get some string. And then what we'll do is we'll make that. We're also going to need a diamond. Grab one of those. Uh, two string and a slime ball. So we get some processor bindings. Then what we want to do is make a raw advanced processor. Oh, we actually need redstone as well. Um, let's do that. And then there we go. We can make a raw advanced processor. Uh, and then what we'll do is, all we need to do is uh, stick that to be smelted. We'll just let the silicon finish real quickly. One more to go, and bam. And then we'll get that smelted up too. There we go. That gets us one advanced processor, so that's what we need for the controller. Um, bam. So we've got our controller. Pretty snazzy. Um, in terms of where we want to house that, uh, probably what could be cool is like sticking it in the floor but then again like where do we have the crafting monitor so what what i might do for now is uh make that so there's two torches there and what i'll do is i'll stick the controller there and then we'll stick a monitor there and some storage discs there i guess so controller there so that'll need um some rf so We'll need to get some power gen somehow across from like over here that's gonna be interesting we'll try and do that somehow i might have to do that on a different episode 
uh, or behind scenes. Uh, we're also going to want a grid, so that's a construction core, destruction core, and two improved processes. So that requires some more and some gold. So um, what I might do is I might get all the ingredients that I kind of need and then I'll come back to show you the final products. Right, and we're back, so I finally got all the stuff that I'm going to need for the last two items. So I got some improved processes, some basic processes, which I use to make the destruction core and the construction core. So they just require like a glowstone and a basic processor. Basic processor is the same as the other processors, just with iron. Uh, but yeah, so let's make what we need. So we need one crafting grid, uh, or one grid. And then we're also going to need one disk drive. So... We put the grid there, basically what that will allow us to do is we can uh, grab any of our items out of there and then the disk drive will hold said drives when we uh, make them. Uh, well, what we can actually do though is if we get one more advanced processor, do we have any more processor binding? No, uh, okay get one more slime ball. Um, we'll quickly make this up because I think this is actually kind of snazzy. Um, so quick 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 um this will be a slightly longer episode guys but i think it's uh definitely integral for the rest of the series just because uh having good storage is always good um basically what we want to do is uh we just need to grab this um actually for now i'm going to just make a new one um and then if we grab that what we can do is get a crafting grid and uh, the better part of that is that we can also craft in here so uh, and then we can change the size I normally I like to have it on uh, large rather than stretch just because stretch is a little bit too big but um, yeah other than that guys I think that's it for this episode um, thank you all for watching I hope you guys enjoyed so today we got our storage drawers done and started on um, making a computer next time we well I'll either do it off camera or I'll do it next episode but basically what we'll do is we'll hook it up to some power so we can actually use it and then what we'll also do is uh, start kind of bringing all our items and making discs and putting it into the computer so then we don't have to keep running back upstairs and whatnot so um, yeah other than that, thank you guys for watching, and um, yeah, I shall see you in the next episode. Sayonara!